My name is Eric with Best Enterprises, and today I'm going to go over some of the basic component locations and procedures used on the small tanks that we offer here. The first one I'm going to go over is a 300-110. It's 300-gallon waste, 110 gallons fresh water. It has a 5.5 horsepower Honda motor with a Condi Super 6 on it. And it also has a U-door low-pressure water pump, roller pump, as you can see right here. Some of the basic component locations I was going to go over is first you have your hose rack mounted right here on the front of the tank. You also have your secondary protection right here. This is in case your primary protection fails. You have your pressure gauge which shows how much vacuum or pressure you have on the tank. You also have your oil reservoir for your Condi Super 6 and your start key for your Honda motor as well as a backup pull rope. Down here on the Super 6, we have the vacuum relief. And what the vacuum relief does is it prevents too much vacuum from being put on the tank. This will prevent the tank from collapsing in on itself. Even though they are rated for 28 inches of vacuum, we set them at 18 inches of vacuum. Right next to it, we have the diesel flush. And what this is used for is once a month, periodic maintenance requires that you flush the vacuum pump with pure diesel fuel. And what this does is it removes any contaminants such as burn up oil or anything that overflows into the vacuum pump that the secondary protection misses. Another thing that you can do with this fitting is whenever you rebuild the pump or if you run it out of oil, you can prime the pump through this until oil can be seen coming through the oil lines from the reservoir. The reservoir is to be filled with 10W30 full synthetic motor oil every day it's supposed to be topped off. Some of the other daily procedures that should be done at the beginning of each day include draining the secondary. This also helps prevent waste from getting down in the vacuum pump from it getting too full. And we also recommend draining the muffler every day as this is what catches the oil that runs through the vacuum pump. If you look down here we have the Honda 5.5 horsepower engine which drives our Condi Super 6 vacuum pump. This Honda is equipped with a pull rope or an electric start. Has the fuel, the fuel tank on top, and here you have the choke and your fuel shut off. What you're going to do is whenever you decide to start it, is you're going to turn your choke to the on position and your fuel to the on position. Then you turn your key to the on position and you bump it over to start until the engine starts. As soon as the engine starts, you turn your choke back off and then you pull your idle control up until it hits the set screw and this will put your vacuum pump at the recommended RPMs of 1200. Once your vacuum pump is up and running, this controls the vacuum and pressure of the vacuum pump. When it's in the middle like it is now, it's in neutral where it pulls no vacuum and puts no pressure on the tank. To put pressure on the tank, you would pull the handle all the way in and it'll pressurize the tank to five pounds until the pressure relief up top disperses any extra air. If you wanted to pull vacuum on the tank, you pull the handle all the way out and the tank will begin to draw vacuum all the way down to 18 inches. It's not recommended to ever go directly from vacuum to pressure or pressure to vacuum. So what we recommend is, is you pull the handle to neutral until the gauge reads zero, which indicates no pressure or vacuum on the tank, before you switch to the other position. The up position turns the U-door water pump to the on, and then in order to turn it off, you just flip the switch back down. The U-door is actually driven off the battery of the vehicle that the tank is mounted in. There is a battery mounted, however, down low over here, which I'm going to go over next. The battery that runs the Honda motor is mounted back here in the back. It's kind of difficult to see, but it has a mounting bracket holding it to the back of the tank. And over here to the other side, you can see the breaker. This is the main circuit protection for the Honda motor. For the U-door motor, we put 25 feet of 10-gauge wire that runs to the vehicle battery that the tank is mounted in, and this will run the water pump. The next unit I'm going to go over is going to be the 400-200. The 400-200 slide-in unit is 400 waste, 200 gallons fresh water. Some of the basic components are shared on this tank is what are on the 300-110, such as the Honda 5.5 horsepower engine. You still have your secondary protection, your primary protection. You have your pressure relief valve up here on top, and you have your vacuum relief right here on the side. This 400-200 has a Massport HXL2 on it, which unlike the Condi, it has a separate mounted reservoir, which uses its own Massport oil instead of the Condi 10W30 full synthetic motor oil. 
the flush valve on the mass port is located on the inlet from the secondary. The mass port uses the same style muffler setup as the Condi with the golden rod bowl which we also recommend draining every day before you start your run. This 400-200 also includes the U-Door low pressure water pump and this is the breaker that protects the U-Door from overload. The 400-200 also comes with a fresh water dump which is mounted here next to the waste dump. Over here you have your toggle switch which turns on the U-Door low pressure water pump over on the other side and the Honda uses the same starting procedure as the 300-110 with the choke, the fuel shut off, and the electric start, as well as having a backup pull start rope. Some of the daily maintenance required on the smaller units include draining the goldenrod bowl, which is your muffler, draining your secondary, and topping your oil off every day. Monthly recommendations is to flush the vacuum pump with a gallon of diesel just like you would a Condi. This is recommended to remove contaminants and burn up motor oil to keep your vacuum pump working in great condition.